Hello and welcome. My name is Alan and today we are back with more members of the 118th Congress. Today we shall be taking a look at Representative Tom Cole. He represents the 4th District of Oklahoma, which is just south of Oklahoma City. Now, he is a Republican and before he took office he was preceded in office by J.C. Watts. Let's look at who he is as an individual. He was born in Shreveport, Shreveport, Shreveport uh, Louisiana on April the 28th, 1949. Uh, he is an, an enrolled member of the Chickasaw Nation, graduated from Moore High School in Moore, Oklahoma in 1967, earned a Bachelor of Arts from Grinnell College in Grinnell, Iowa in 1971, Earned a Master's of Arts from Yale University in New Haven, Connecticut in 1974. Earned a Ph.D. from the University of Oklahoma in Norman, Oklahoma in 1984. Has been a consultant, a graduate assistant at the University of Oklahoma in Norman, Oklahoma. A faculty member of the Oklahoma Baptist University in Shawnee, Oklahoma. A staff member of the United States Representative Marvin Mickey Edwards of Oklahoma, 1982 to 1984. He's been chairman of the Oklahoma Republican Party from 1985 to 1989 and was a private advocate member of the Oklahoma State Senate from 1988 to 1991, an executive director for the National Republican Congressional Committee in 1991 to 1993. He was the Oklahoma Secretary of State from 1995 to 1999, was chief of staff for the Republican National Committee from 1999 to 2001, before finally being elected as a Republican to the 108th and the 10 succeeding Congresses, meaning he is on his 11th term in the United States Congress. Now, let's go ahead and look at the committees he is on. All right. He is on the committee of on appropriations of which he is chairman and he is on the subcommittee of that committee uh, in defense and uh, the Subcommittee on Transportation, Housing, and Urban Development and Related Agencies, of which he is also chairman. He is also on the Committee on Rules, of which he is chairman, of which he is on the Subcommittee for Legislative and Budget Process and Subcommittee for Rules and Organization of the House. Now, let's go ahead and look at his top five industry donors. Over his career at the top, we have oil and gas, who all together have donated $1,190,750. Next is tribal governments, who all together have donated $969,261. Next is lobbyists, who all together have donated $630,901. Next is 
Next is lawyers and law firms who all together have donated $597,547. And finally is health professionals who all together have donated $539,871. Now, let's look at his top five individual donors and contributors. At the top, Number one, we have the Chickasaw Nation, and they are a federally recognized Native American tribe with headquarters in Ada, Oklahoma. And altogether, they have donated a total of $241,111. And once again, that's the Chickasaw Nation. Next, at number two, we have Devon Energy, and they are an energy company engaged in hydrocarbon exploration in the United States, and altogether, it has donated a total of $135,000. $80, and once again, that's Devon Energy. Next, at number three, we have Raytheon Technologies, and they are an American multinational aerospace and defense conglomerate headquartered in Arlington, Virginia. Altogether, they have donated a total of $120,500. And once again, that's Raytheon Technologies. Next, at number four, we have Legal Shield. And they are an American corporation that sells legal service products direct to consumer through employer groups and through multi level marketing in the United States and Canada. Altogether, it has donated a total of $118,416. And once again, that's Legal Shield. Lastly, at number five, we have the National Beer Wholesalers Association. They are a trade association that represents the interests of more than two. 1,850 beer distributors throughout the United States before government and in the public. Altogether, it has donated a total of $109,500. And once again, that's the National Beer Wholesalers Association. But, this has been a look at Representative Tom Coe who is the representative of the 4th District of Oklahoma. As always, educate thyself, think, read, study, learn. Someone tries to tell you something you have trouble believing, ask them to cite their sources. I'll be putting my sources in the description box below the video. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Until then, later. Thank you.